We start with a live look at the Matamoros Bridge in Mexico. We're breaking news this morning. The U.S. consulate in this very city getting reports of organized kidnappings for ransom on inner city buses. Now, because of that, the U.S. Department of State's travel advisory is up to a level four. Want to take a look at what that means. Simply put, do not travel. This is the U.S. travel advisory system. It's in place for every country in the world. The ones of, uh, of note are the ones we visit a lot. Level one is the safest. That's the exercise number of precautions. It's just like a normal trip, right? The next step, level two, take a few more precautions. This is usually meaning a higher risk of issues or attacks. Level three is when the State Department says you should reconsider travel to that destination. This goes into place when leaders in this country grow a bit more concerned about a dense area affected by threats. It's also in place for natural disasters. We saw this a lot during the pandemic as well. And again, level four, the highest one, which is in place right now, do not travel in that part of Mexico. So what is the bus system on this higher risk? Ashley's got that answer. Yeah, so this travel warning is a bit unusual because it's not just for a certain city or state in Mexico, but specifically for those who are traveling with the Omnibus Company in Tamaulipas and Reynosa. Now, Fox SA's Christina De Leon joins us live right now with actions that Americans are advised to take. Mexico continues to get reports of organized kidnappings for ransom happening on intercity buses like Omnibus, which comes from cities right out of San Antonio. Here's what we know. Some of the dangerous cities, according to the warning, includes Reynosa and Tamaulipas, which remains under a travel for advisory, which asks visitors just not to go there due to crime and kidnapping. These kidnappings have happened mainly at night on buses. Kidnappers have specifically targeted passengers with connections to the United States. Victims report their belongings and documents are stolen, bank accounts emptied, and their families are forced to pay ransoms of thousands for each and every victims. So experts say just be aware of your surroundings, notify friends and families of your plans, and remain in contact with them. Now, if you or a family member are a victim, you're urged and asked to call the FBI immediately. I'm Christina De Leon. We will send it back to you. 